Now, I like Yu-Gi-Oh! 7, but it could not be the series. New episode or new chapter, because it was quite exciting and quite surprising. I'm talking about One Piece. For those of you who don't know about it, check it out. It was, it was one of the most amazing series out there. It was one of the big three with Naruto, Bleach. Yes, with Naruto and Bleach. So the big three um, in, in previous years was Naruto, Bleach and One Piece. So because Naruto and Bleach finish, and Bleach is going to come back with the anime. But before Bleach anime finish, and before the Bleach series finish, it was Naruto, Bleach and One Piece that was taking over the scene. So, in this chapter of... Uh, 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 of One Piece, I was quite excited because one of the mystery that we wanted to find out actually happened. Now, I'm talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! 7. Even if I love One Piece, we can't talk about One Piece because this is not about One Piece. This is about Yu-Gi-Oh! 7. For Yuga and his friend to go to the moon, they have to use Romy Curry. Yes, this curry is quite dangerous because if, if it can actually use it as a fuel to go to the moon, this is not a curry, this is a weapon, this is a resource that anybody in the world can use to pour their car, pour their, 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 their generator, pour, pour, their, their, pour anything that you can use this curry to pour. And because of it, I was looking forward to seeing how oh, will they face on the moon. What will they face on the moon? And they face the person that they didn't want to see for now, but seem like he's going to become the final boss. I'm talking about Otis. Yes, they get to see Otis on the moon, and Otis actually was using some of the cards that you girl used. But this, is, this wasn't quite surprising because Otis was the person who created the seventh road magician. Because he read the book, and because he read the book, maybe because of this he become the final villain. Or maybe he's not the final villain, we don't know until future episode. But Otis introduced Dark Spellcasters. Yes, a new category of the dark magician gene. Dark spellcaster. Every one of them dark every one of them um the seven row magician can use dark magic now. So because of it I was looking forward to seeing what's gonna happen. But the episode ended on a cliffhanger because Otis was using his his um his amazing cards that, that he created to destroy Yuga and his friends card. Yes, we all know that Yuga and Yuga get some of his friends' card to use in his deck. So, what will happen in, new, in the new episode, we don't know. But, I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Now, One Piece. One Piece. I can't wait to see the new chapter, but too bad. We, we have to wait two weeks. Two weeks. And because of this, I wanted to know what's happening. Is Luffy Devil Fruit actually awakening? So throughout the series, we all know that we all know about Devil Fruit Awakening. The first time they talk about talk about Awakening Devil Fruit is at Impel Down. The second time I'm thinking about is at Dress Rosa. Now, the third time was at um oh, World Cake Island. The fourth time I'm thinking it's right, it's right on on, it's one a country. I think that's his fourth time. But I can't wait to see Luffy when he. Awaken. So remember, subscribe, like the video, comment in the comment box if you like it. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in future episode of this amazing series.